Sora 2 is here and it is blowing my mind, honestly. Like all my AI tools, I am getting it through Artless because they not only have Sora 2, they also have Google's Nano Banana Image Gen and a bunch of other AI models to choose from all in one place. So what makes Sora 2 special? Well, it's good. It's like really good. I am awful at drawing. So usually I'm just stuck having to describe any of the things that I'm dreaming up. With this new AI model using only an idea and some text, I was able to generate super realistic renderings of some creative storyboards that I've had locked in my head forever. That said, because of how incredibly realistic Sora 2 is, it's really not limited to the pre-production side of things anymore, at least in my opinion. Call me crazy, but I think we're actually approaching the point where an entire film could be AI generated. To test this, I'm going to generate a scene from this. This is the first script that I ever wrote. I'm never gonna make it into a movie, it's just not good enough, but we can see what it would look like with Artlist. Suspect vehicle's a red pickup. Copy that. Units are setting up a block at the highway. Leaving the road, going into the field. Hang on. We're in the corn, still visual. Maintain pursuit. That's just wild. All the audio in this clip is AI generated as well, which is crazy. Like AI audio used to be like, eh, not so good. And now it's like, Wow. That's all fun, but practically, let's bring it back down to Earth. Here's where I think Sora 2 really shines. In the documentary realm, if you want to depict or recreate something that happened a long time ago, there's really no need for expensive sets and recreations anymore. AI can do all of it. Is it perfect? No. I mean, you'll definitely still see some AI artifacting, like this guy's hand going through the musket in that past shot. That's just part of the model right now. And the model is also limited to 720p. But a huge reason that I use Artlist is because they're always taking the newest models and updating them, keeping them in line with the best standard. So when there's a new version of Sora with all of these kinks worked out, Artlist is gonna have it. When it comes to commercial projects, let's say you're like creating an ad for a car wash or something, you don't really need to go out and get footage of that actual car wash anymore. I mean, just sit at your desk on Artlist, plug in this AI prompt and boom, you've got some amazing shots that you would have had to spend days creating otherwise. Of course, you'll wanna clear it with your clients that they're okay with AI video, but the results speak for themselves. And that's the other benefit of using Artlist. I know that anything that I generate here is gonna be cleared for use in any commercial projects with their super simple license. I don't have to worry about any of the copyright side of things. And that's great peace of mind. It's really amazing how far AI video generation has come in such a short period of time, but I'm curious what you think of it. I mean, is it getting too powerful and what's the first thing that you would generate with Sora 2. As always, I have a link to try this out down below. It'll give you a free two months added onto any of Artlist's annual subscriptions. If you're interested, I think that's the best way to try it out. Now I'm gonna get back to generating some videos because the whole world has just been opened up.